Hey guys, good morning. Happy Friday. Um, it is, as usual, um, Lean Goes Live, and I'm here every other Friday um, discussing all things travel and all things empowerment through golf. And I would like to start off with empowerment through golf uh, for this one uh, because we've had some really amazing things happening um, in the background, um, and you've probably seen us posting about it, but last weekend, we had our virtual mentorship call for our students and um, we had the students that were in Antigua and then also the students who are in Ethiopia on the call with us and it was freaking amazing. Um, like the energy from the students in Ethiopia were just like through the roof and we were celebrating International Day of the Girl. Um, and what the theme for this year was, was um, my digital generation, excuse me, um, my generation. And so what we tried to make the, um, the focus of the call on was about like the technology that goes into things like creating your cell phone, creating your laptops, um, and just showing some of the different factories where um, the work actually happens um, to make like these uh, electronic devices and things like that. And then also speaking to the students about their experience with um, having to go completely online for school um, and things like that. So more so the students in Antigua has the opportunity to, you know, do online schooling uh, throughout this whole COVID season. Um, and then the students in Ethiopia are now getting ready to go back into class. Um, and they just had so much enthusiasm and so many questions uh, for our panelists um, about, you know, the paths that they took uh, to get them to where they are in their careers. Um, you know, they're thinking about like the future of Ethiopia already. Um, we, and luckily and thankfully, <clears throat> excuse me, we had um, one of my friends um, who is Ethiopian come on the call with us as a panelist. So first of all, I'd like to thank the panelists who were able to make it onto the call um, and just made it like super dynamic for our students. Um, but that interaction there, um, because they were able to speak to each other freely, um, and then we heard the translation, um, but the students were so, 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 so into it. Um, they already have ambitions of their own. Um, a lot of them want to be um, doctors. They study natural sciences. Um, they want to be nurses, um, lawyers, uh, business people. Um, and then in Antigua, we even have a young man who uh, his aspiration is to be a pilot. So, you know, if any of these careers or these are fields that you're already working in and you definitely um, have a heart to pour into the youth and motivate them um, and just share any insight that has helped you along your journey, we definitely encourage you to reach out to us. Um, you could send messages to the students or, you know, anything that you would like to do just to give them that sort of support um, and encouragement to let them know that they can do it, they can be successful, um, even though, you know, during your career, they're gonna be uh, hurdles for you to overcome um, and just continue to push through. So that was an amazing session. And then this weekend coming up, so today's Friday, so tomorrow um, here in San Diego um, at Sorrento Canyon Golf Center, I am so excited uh, that I get to teach there now as a LPGA professional, so Ladies Professional Golf Association. So we get to teach out of that uh, facility. Uh, we've had that space since February, and we're finally having um, an, an event. Like we're finally meeting with people uh, in person and doing all of the things that um, Empowerment Through Golf has loved to do over the years. So this is going to be a driving range event. Um, where we, you know, showcasing the space, like you can come for, get your golf lessons. Um, hopefully we're going to have to, uh, we're going to start doing some, you know, like athletic stuff there as well. Uh, maybe some yoga and things like that. Um, and, you know, do corporate outings, um, women's clinics and things like that. So if you're in the San Diego area, definitely come out to Sorrento Canyon tomorrow afternoon from 2.30 
onwards um probably until like 6 30 we're gonna have a dj so there's gonna be music um drinks and things like that so and definitely obviously the driving range so we want to get you on the driving range get a feel for it um see if you can golf and if you can't golf like what's holding you back <laughs> um and things like that but you can do it so definitely want to see you there and then if you are not in San Diego and you want to continue to support Empowerment Through Golf, because it is our like our fundraiser event. Um, in the past, we've done golf tournaments, um, but now we have a facility. Uh, now we have access to a facility that is like a hundred percent driving range and practice facility. So we're gonna do an event, you know, cater to that establishment. Um, but it is a fundraising event, um, as always, for the projects that we want to embark on for the rest of the year into 2022. Um, so the link is also on my profile if you want to go to the Eventbrite link. Um, and you can just send in donations um, for the rest of, like, all day Saturday. Um, we'll be collecting donations. And that goes towards our junior program, the junior golf program here in San Diego. Um, we have a special project um, that we want to complete for one of our students um, from the Caribbean. Um, and then also we have some things that we want to do in West Africa uh, for some junior golfers out there. Um, so that's where the funds, that is where the funding is going to go to. Um, those are our projects. And so we would love, love, love your support. So thank you in advance. Okay. And then on to travel, <laughs> the fun stuff. Well, it's all fun. Um, but over the past um, couple of days, I've been speaking to some of our different suppliers. Um, and again, my agency is Gift of Travel. Um, and I'm here to help you, you know, see how you can travel for less, save more, definitely. Um, and then also to show you the ins and outs of the travel business. It's a lot of fun. Um, you know, I'm enjoying it. So I just want to keep it going. Um, I've met some really, really amazing, um, like professionals in this space already. And it impresses me what they can do. And I'm just like, I'm going to do it too. <laughs> and so just learning and growing. Right. So, um, I've got some cool stuff from Oceana Cruise Lines. I think I've talked to you guys about them before. Um, but I got some really cool stuff from them. Um, I asked like if I could, you know, have some, you know, marketing material so that I could know more about what they're going to be offering, uh, for the coming year. And so, um, they're putting out collections for 2022 and 2023 already. And this one is the tropics and exotic places. And like the catalog itself is beautiful. When I got it in the mail, it felt like Christmas. I was like, oh my God, they sent me stuff. Um, but this one, what I think stood out to me the most and this one, um, and maybe I could just do this. I don't know if you could see like the insides, um, but they're showing off like the different, um, venues, um, and then different, um, like the different routes that you can take. And then they're also telling you a little bit about each place and then you get, um, to see more about like what the interior of the ship looks like. Um, the different ships and um, how you can, um, you know, which levels that you want to book, right? So this is Tropics and Exotics, and this one is really cool. Um, this one stood out to me because they even highlight, like, Dominica um, as a place that they would normally stop. And, you know, I love Dominica. That's where my roots are from, so I big it up every time. And I just love, love, love that they had that in there. Um, so one of the stops or one of the routes that I saw, oh, and then even from um, California. So, you know, like we're coastal. Um, and then there's, there's another one that I'll show you in a little bit, but you can leave from California, go to like a lot of different places and come back um, and like really short uh, trips if you wanted to. So they're like eight days, 12 days, 22 days. Imagine being on a cruise for 22 days. That's insane to me, at least like for right now. Um, but you know, some people have that time freedom. Uh, so that they can do things like that. Um, so again, like leaving from the car, leaving from uh, California, and then um, different um, routes that go that um, include Dominica, which I think were really cool. So there's one that goes from, so there's one that goes like starts in Miami, you go to Bahamas, and you go to San Juan, you go to Saint like Antigua, Saint John's, 
and then you go to Rosso Dominica, and then you go all the way over to like Cosmoel, um, like Costa de Maya, and then you go back to Miami, right? So a lot of different routes. Um, if you want like a shorter one, that one is like 16 days. For nine days, you could do Miami, Bahamas, Puerto Rico, Antigua, Dominica, <laughs> and then go back to Miami. And yeah, I'm biased. I'm calling out my places. Um, but so many amazing stops for you to go to in the Caribbean. Um, and then um, there are also like a lot of islands um, in like the European area that you can stop. And oh my God, there's this one from like South Africa going all the way over to Asia. And it's like 64 days. Like imagine being on a cruise for 64 days. Like that's blowing my mind for right now. Um, but it is an option and it's like a lot of really cool stops on there and if you wanted a shorter one leaving from South Africa you can go from South Africa um, go to um, oh, what's that island uh, okay I can't think of the name um, right now uh, Madagascar excuse me so South Africa different stops like along um, that region go to Madagascar and then to India Ooh, and that's kind of cool Okay, so that's um, the tropics and exotics. So if you have ideas or questions about uh, tropical places and exotic places that you want to cruise to or that you know anybody wants to cruise to, definitely let me know. And then there's the, um, the European and North America options as well. And again, this is with uh, Oceana Cruise Lines. Um, so they are getting ready or they're just putting out all of their good stuff already for 2022 and 2023. And um, in this one, I thought um, was really cool and I bookmark it. Let me just find it really quickly. Um, they have some new ports um, and you could go to like Saudi Arabia, um, Maine, which is like, you know, the have a lot of stops there already or cruises that go there not necessarily this cruise line um limos greece um scotland denmark norway um and then uh, lipari italy so a few new stops that they've added and again this is uh, oceana cruise lines so they've added a few new stops in there and then uh, some things that I highlighted that stood out to me or some ports that stood out to me um, okay there's this one um, where you can start in Barcelona and then go through um, like that Spanish Channel like between like Spain and North Africa and then go to St. John's in Antigua and then go to Puerto Rico and then finish off in Miami and so I thought that was really cool it's um, Iberia to North America something like that is 20 days um but obviously like there are a lot of different and shorter options like for cruising in that region uh, and exploring that region so that was um one thing that i bookmarked and then another one like i'm i think i mentioned the other day um when we were you know like in downtown seattle like i saw some cruise ships there and i was like oh this is probably a port for alaska and yeah boom like you can leave from seattle and take a variety of cruises from seattle all the way up to alaska and like you can do seven days um up to 11 days cruising there so alaskan cruises um leaving from seattle so just a really pretty stuff already to take a look at and think of like for planning for 2022 2023 um, it's just like, it's really beautiful. Um, so that's all I wanted to show for this week in the world of travel. Um, a lot of really beautiful ports to think of for, um, the 2022, 2023 season. And, um, I have more to come from different suppliers, um, but definitely Oceana Cruises, um, you know, it's like, um, they pride themselves on luxury cruising. And so far, everything looks really beautiful. Um, so um, I'll just wrap up again. Um, I was mentioning that we had um, a really exciting week last week um, with Empowerment Through Golf. 
um, celebrating International Day of the Girl, um, connecting with um, amazing mentors for our virtual mentorship call, and pouring into the students in Antigua and then also the students in Ethiopia, which was amazing, amazing, amazing. So thank you to everyone who made that call a success. Um, this weekend, tomorrow actually, excuse me, um, we're gonna have our annual fundraiser event for Empowerment Through Golf. Uh, we're gonna be at the Sorrento Canyon Golf Center. It's gonna be a driving range event. So not the full golf course, just the driving range where you see people like in the row, it's kind of like top golf um so we're turning it into top golf for the day uh we're gonna have music um drinks light snacks and things like that and definitely encouraging everyone to try out uh golf either for the first time or brush off the dust bring your clubs and things like that um so that you can hit a few on the range um you can get some lessons um, informally obviously um, we're gonna just keep it like a light fun day so come out for that and even if you are unable to be here in San Diego with us definitely definitely take a look and I'll put the link uh, under this post as well our Eventbrite link or you can donate directly through our website etghub.com um, all donations uh, for this fundraiser event are going to go towards the projects that we hope to complete uh, through the rest of the year into 2022. All right, guys, this has been Lean Goes Live. Thank you uh, for being here. Uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. And as always, think about me when uh, you're thinking of uh, planning any luxury travel or any travel. So again, uh, all of your car rentals, airfares, hotel booking, and cruising, uh, as we just went over um, with the uh, new options that are coming out for um, tra uh, cruising with Oceana. So you have tropics and exotics, and then um, North America and European options. And it doesn't limit you um, to just uh, Northern Europe, well, Europe is north, excuse me, um, but you can do things in like South Africa, India, um, in the Asian Pacific Islands and things like that. So a lot of options for travel and um, yeah, so just keep me in mind and enjoy the rest of your weekend. And as always, uh, signing off and you will see me here again in the next two weeks. <laughs> okay, see you.